What's up, guys? Welcome back to Costumes of the Week, Season 3, Episode 4. What's up, guys? I'm Jason. This is Dylan. Howdy, guys. So, Customs of the Week is a weekly segment where we feature five different artists and try to shine light on some of their work. And there's a lot of different things that we like to talk about throughout this segment. Sometimes we'll dive into the details of their artwork, but we also like to talk about a whole nother part, and that's the presentation on how they present their projects to you. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this week's episode. <laughs> So over the past few Yeezys that came out, we've seen play on the names. So mm -hmm. with the butters, obviously we saw someone like put butter on yeah, there yeah, from yeah. South Park. And with the glitch, I think Kenneth Cole really killed it and made a glitch effect yeah. on the glitch. Mm -hmm. And obviously with the photographs that he edited, there's like a glitch effect it's to a the cool photo. Look. And you know, overall, I think you just, when you see it on the street, mm -hmm. you're gonna do a double take. Yeah. Because you're super interested yeah. in what it is. Yeah, like you said, I think it's an awesome idea to really play on the name, the, the static, the glitch. Um, this is as good as it gets as far as like what anybody might try of, okay, anybody's going to try and do that static mm -hmm. or that glitch concept. And there's a lot of time put into these with right. all these little colors, all these tiny little details. And um, what a cool base shoe that all these tiny little panels and areas and, you know, different uh, knitting kind of mm -hmm. um, areas, they just blend to make this when you start to piece it together with different colors in uh, the different areas. So great job on these. So not only is the portrait work really great on these, but I think he does a really good job with the background, kind of having that liquid metal look that, you know, that kind of metamorphosis stage that the Terminator goes through. Always cool to see the work hit the courts, um, worn by Langston Galloway. So this is a really cool project. Yeah, like you said, I think when you're able to take the shoe and kind of make the whole shoe one. Yeah. For example, he took like the liquid metal look, so like the silver, and obviously matches the portraits because the Terminator is yeah. a robot. Um, really plays what all together. Great job on these. So when you start off with the base color of yellow, I think it's super hard to pick colors that complement it, especially because it's super bold. But I think he did a really great job of choosing the specific blue and the pink that complement it well and don't really go against it, mm -hmm. but it all works it all works together. You know, it kind of almost like toned it down. Right. Even though you added a lot of really good artwork on top, you almost mm -hmm. turned it down from just being this super bold, all, you know, kind of canary yellow shoe. And, uh, you know, the floral artwork on these is beautiful. And uh, this would be yeah. a great spring shoe. And um, Vab has this really cool technique with uh, his swooshes. So instead of just kind of an all solid swoosh, he has this kind of like ripping effect with the swoosh or something that he does a lot. So always cool to have a signature by an artist. So love how these came out. This is definitely the pair of the week that will definitely take the most time to dissect. He has a lot of great photos of these. And it's funny because you don't even need to think about the photos that much because the artwork just has you so distracted. All mm -hmm. he needed to do was go outside, take these photos out on the concrete and just really let the artwork speak for itself. And um, wow, this guy is a true artist. And if you look at some of his other work, you could tell he's very serious with his portraits. There's just so many cool techniques here. There's a lot of things that look like they're glowing, just popping right off of the shoe. Some really deep blacks in certain areas to make certain things pop out. Um, wow. Yeah, I think even though a lot of this stuff is very complex, I think he also has a style, mm -hmm. and that style is synonymous along with yeah. all the shoes he does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you know, that's what we kind of always say that, that if you can look at a shoe until it's done by an artist and they build up that type of portfolio mm -hmm. over time, they've succeeded at this whole thing, you know what I mean? So with our last artist, we really couldn't focus on just one shoe because when we look on his profile, his profile is amazing. Yeah. Like it's really eye catching and when you're on there, you're on there for a while because yeah. you just want to see different colors. Keep clicking. And um, you want to look at all the little designs he does because they're mm -hmm. not super complicated. No. Like, over the shoe designs oh, right like some of the like most of the time they're just a small um, pretty simple stuff pretty simple you know stuff. what i mean and i think 
he does it really well though but he's still versatile you yeah. know what i mean it's not just Super. one thing he's kind of able to tackle anything that comes his way whether it's you know portrait work or kind of anime style work simple color blocking this drip effect pair there's a lot of cool different things on his page and like you said you just kind of get lost on here looking at everything because the profile is just so elegant and easy to look at mm -hmm. Thank you guys for watching. We really do appreciate all the submissions we get to be posted on Customs a Week. We can only do five at a time, but we do really, really appreciate it. We love to see that we're getting more submissions every week. Mm -hmm. We're getting more um, posts on the hashtag that yeah. we do, Customs a Week. So make sure you use the hashtag because we do check it every single week. It's tough to narrow and, it down to yeah, five sometimes, you know what I mean? So we also want to say thank you guys for everybody who participated in our Gucci Air Force One giveaway. Mm -hmm. We had almost 700 submissions on that, so that's absolutely insane. Um, it's crazy to see each one of our giveaways gets bigger and bigger, of course, as our YouTube page does too. So we can't thank you guys enough for the support with that. One thing that we do ask of all of you is to go ahead on all of the artists that were featured in today's video, go ahead and show them some love on their post and let them know where you guys saw them. Let them know that you guys came and found them from Customs of the Week. We would really like to see this segment grow and maybe even have some other artists featured on here, host an episode yep. with us or something. Uh, we're totally open to different ideas like that. So thank you guys for sticking with us for another episode. Go ahead and give this video a like if you haven't already. Make sure you're subscribed and we will see you guys next week.